I decided to take one of my favorite projects from my book and give it an updated look with a new technique I discovered. Hi friends, I'm Jamie from SoMuchBetterWithAge.com. I'm dedicated to helping you create a beautiful life with easy to follow DIY projects, home decorating, organization, and a little bit of life advice along the way. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took one of my favorite book projects, this DIY Trumeau mirror, and gave it a bit of a makeover for an updated and more professional look with a brand new technique to mimic an aged finish that I know you'll love and you can use on any piece of art or even furniture. This Trumeau mirror is one of my favorite projects from my book, French Vintage Decor. We built it from scratch with Erin helping me. We have a plaster technique, we added mirror, crown molding, and I originally had a different technique in here. And so I wanted it to be a little bit different as we have plans to put this Trumeau mirror in our dining room. We're gonna be changing up our dining room a little bit and we wanted this to be the center focal point for it. So we removed what was here by scraping off the old design and in the process of repainting it, I discovered a new paint technique. I just love the results and I can't wait to show you how I did it. It was completely by mistake. <laughs> so I'll show you a picture now of what the looked like before. You can see I had a scrolly design and I had used a technique with drywall mud. We took that off, scraped it off, and we added these wooden appliques that you can buy at any hardware store or online. And I painted them gold. And this paint is actually my paint called Vintage Gold and it's in collaboration with Fusion Mineral Paint. So we've added these and as you can tell, it's all one color now. It's not the green and the gray, it's all gray. And as I was repainting it, I put more fresco on it. And before it had time to dry, it started to crackle in all these different spots because I rushed the drying process. So that is my amazing tip I can share with you. If you want that aged, crackly finish on one of your pieces of art or on furniture, I'll show you pictures now of how I created it by adding the fresco, putting it on, and before it's not quite dry, painting right over it. And then in about 12 hours, you'll see how it all separates. And I think it makes a really pretty look. If you're interested in creating this mirror for yourself, check out my book, French Vintage Decor. Check out my blog post with the updated mirror and the paint technique below. For more inspiration, be sure to check out my other DIY videos. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.